I really do believe that I was so invested in my learning and passionate and kind of an early age in high school um, because it was something I loved to do as a child. You know, getting to do a report on anything you wanted was a really exciting feat to me as a kid. At Montessori, we weren't learning things like you would in a normal classroom. We were learning how to learn. It's teaching kids not just material, but it's teaching kids how to learn and how to want to learn, how to be independent. The curiosity that, that is, um, is really sewn into the fabric of who you are at Montessori is just, uh, that, that serves me very well today. At each school, you will learn different skill sets. So here, um, I learned a skill that I really think helps me able to think through problems. I think the way that it transfers, at least for me now into my adult life, is that I am able to focus on things um, to a degree that I think a lot of my, that I've noticed a lot of my peers aren't able to, and especially in medical school, that ability to um, prioritize tasks and then do them to completion before um, moving on to the next thing has been sort of game changing. My transition to public high school uh, went pretty seamlessly. I think that the skills I developed here at Forest Bluff carried with me into my public school, into college, into uh, graduate programs. So the, the, I was able to take these skills and, and just seamlessly transfer. When a lot of my high school peers, it wasn't too cool to be doing your homework and they're for me, it was really exciting and I really liked it. Um, not necessarily because I was even that wonderful at it, but because it was something I was taught to love and always did. While I was here, you know, you're encouraged to really pursue your passions and um, you're encouraged to, to wander around and, and, just, and just try and understand the world on a different level. And the way in which that served me is the curiosity for my business, for my industry, for uh, sort of the core tenets of what's important for for my role I think really helps me because when I find downtime I'm just I'm trying trying to learn and trying to get better at uh, what I do honestly not having work that you take home with you is kind of the most powerful tool in that arsenal because you know you're here for a very specific quantity of time you know that you have different things that are gonna consume your time during the day and then you know outside of those obligations that you have a lot of work that you're hoping to get done. I think I'm really good at working through a problem and in my field in architecture that's what we do all day long so for me that was a great foundation. And part of you know managing that process is learning how to start your own activities and manage your own activities and the teacher you know will expect a certain amount of work to be accomplished every week or every two weeks um, and they're on top of that process but as long as you're succeeding you know you are in charge of your own schedule right there's no you have to be doing a project in the morning and b project in the afternoon it's very much you know you're, you're in charge of your, your schedule as long as you're succeeding. And I think that really teaches kids to manage their own time effectively. And just, I mean, you can see that going forward. I think a lot of the students here have been very successful on that front. And especially, I think, in the hospital where it's chaotic and there's lots of things going on and you have multiple patients and everyone has a different agenda and priorities, I think um, having the skills and the know-how to just sit down and say, I need to get this done, and then I can handle sort of the next crisis um, is like absolutely critical. Every alumni that comes out here does great on their test scores, goes to uh, great schools, and goes on to have a great professional career. No matter where I've been, whether it's been my education and my career, I know that there's no topic that's gonna be too hard that I can't figure it out by myself. If there's ever a class where the teacher's going too fast, I feel good about being able to go back and teach it to myself from a book because I mean that's how we learned. We learned how to learn, not what to learn. I think that's really critical and that goes back to kind of the, you know, the, the key philosophy of Montessori is at the end of the day, you know, you're very responsible for your own learning and your successes. I trace that back directly to the Montessori Foundation here. You teach uh, that structure with the Pink Tower. 